come to your senses, madmen, because what you do is indeed a satanic deed. The enemies of the church gain control over her and her possessions by means of lethal weapons, and you should oppose them with the power of your faith. On 14th of September 1898, the Sovereign Emperor approved Bishop Tikon's reassignment to the Aleutian Isles and Alaska. The episcopacy is, first and foremost, not a power, honour or authority, but action, hard work and selfless devotion, and the true life of the bishop is one of constant death from cares and grief. Countrymen burnt and robbed the houses of landlords. Gangs of deserters and thieves roamed the towns. Bishop Tikon became the Metropolitan of Moscow. To Comrade Jerzinski, this is distributed on the streets. It would be advisable to arrest the author. Well, the Bible says that God created man to be imperishable. The first Russian emperor, Peter, had taken the church under his command. Saints follow the same difficult path in their lives as ordinary people do. And we must confiscate the church valuables at any cost, and in the most resolute and quickest manner possible. We will not be able to do this later. With the accompaniment of Bolshevik cannon and machine gun fire, the Metropolitan Tikon was elected the Patriarch of all Russia. The Red Diplomat Chicherin wrote to Joseph Stalin saying that Tikhon's execution will cause even more damage to our international status and suggested they should back away from the Patriarch's death sentence. And what are relics? Why is he a martyr? And if it's necessary to suffer for the cause of Christ, we call you, the beloved children of the church, we call you to share these sufferings with us. <laughs> 